Hello, my beautiful Virgos. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So let's just get started here. Oh, and by the way, guys, I am, uh, you know, aware of the audio issues that I'm having. I understand that some of you are not able to hear me clearly. So I did order new equipment, although it's on the way. So you guys are going to have to be a little patient with me. So uh, thank you in advance. Okay, so what's going on my Virgos? Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here, guys. Split the deck and we have this Sun card. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a Leo or inquiring about a Leo here, but with the Five of Pentacles as well as the Sun card, I'm actually getting a pretty clear message here, guys. I feel that this separation has brought a lot of clarity to this individual. Like the fact that they don't have access to you right now or the fact that they feel um, like they are an outsider in your life, it's uh, bringing some sort of clarity. Whether this is like a case of realizing or not realizing what you have until it's gone or whether it's you know maybe something that you've communicated to this person is becoming very clear now that you're no longer communicating with them. It's like this separation has brought some sort of clarity to your person. Okay, so let's start off by seeing how they're currently viewing you. Okay. The lover. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, but this person feels like you've taught them a lot, whether you're aware of this or not, Virgo. They're viewing you as someone where, well, they could be viewing the connection as, okay, this was a catalyst for my growth, but they're viewing you, what I'm, uh, or what, what I was mainly getting, sorry guys, is they are viewing you as someone who has taught them a lot about their self. They may have learned a lot, uh, you know, from you without you even realizing it, but I also feel like they're viewing you as someone that they have a very, very deep connection with. Like they feel very drawn to you. They may wonder, okay, even if I'm not speaking to Virgo or even if there are some sort of obstacles that we're facing, I still feel connected to Virgo despite that. Um, because when the lovers comes up, it's, you know, a connection that you can't deny. You know, it's very potent here. Now, this also boils down to choices. So this person may feel like when they're reminded of you or when they think of you, they do miss you and they do feel connected to you, but they may feel like they never really made a decision when it came to being in a connection with you or they um, had a very important choice to make, but they were, uh, you know, dwelling on making that choice here, okay? Because this card has a lot to do with choices as well. So we have the Temperance card. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius and we have the Empress, okay? So it could be a Libra or a Taurus as well, but these two cards coming out in the challenge position, it seems to be someone who is realizing that you are everything that they could have asked for. You know, they are holding you on a very high pedestal with the Empress, but with the Temperance, it's almost like I want to make peace or I want some sort of balance between Virgo and I. But um, Virgo, what I'm persistently getting here is that this is something that they're realizing now. So some of you are dealing with an individual who has regret for not giving you or treating you the way that they felt like you were you were deserving of. So this may be someone who felt like they were very nonchalant during the connection with you. Maybe they felt like they were, um, you know, giving you just enough to work with, but they weren't really making a firm choice or decision here uh, with the lovers. But with the Temperance and the Empress, it's like, I want to make peace with Virgo. Virgo is who I want to be with. You know, they're the entire package. But it seems like this may be something that they're realizing when it's too late, okay? So you're viewing them in the Five of Cups energy. You're viewing them as someone that you're disappointed in. Um, you may feel like the situation was like a disappointment as a whole. If I remember correctly, guys, I feel like I was getting a very similar message for, you know, you guys, maybe like last week or something. Like, I feel like I said this to you guys. Like, I'm getting almost like a deja vu here, um... Yeah, but with the Five of Cups, I feel, guys, that um, this is someone that you're viewing as a disappointment. You may view this situation as, wow, this was so frustrating. You know, I had to do A, B, and C just for the outcome to not be my desired outcome. 
you do miss this person because the five of cups speaks about you know focusing on maybe what went wrong uh, or you know instead of um, like it, it's kind of like okay this could have been done differently or this could have been avoided that that kind of energy and it seems like you're not really focused on the fact that you still have emotions for them like you you do miss them but you're more disappointed in how things happened between the both of you you definitely wanted more or um you had high hopes uh, for this connection, so it could have, so it could really feel like a letdown for you. Okay, Virgo. So in your feelings, we have the hanged man. So you're like, nope, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to be the one to reach out here. Hanged man could be a little bit of a, you know, um, like a standstill energy, but it could also be that you're thinking of this person. You may even be having a shift in perspective where you don't view them the same way that you once have, but it's like you're not really wanting to take any action towards them right now. It's more so like, okay, I will sit with my feelings and I will sit with my thoughts. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, Eight of Pentacles, yeah. You may, like for some of you, you may feel like work just requires more of your focus at this time, whether it's, you know, because you've, uh, you know, picked up extra shifts or whether it's, you know, you you have a second job or you genuinely just feel like, you know, your your focus is on your stability right now. This person is definitely still on your mind, but something about this situation makes you feel complacent or you feel like the situation is complacent, um, Virgo, where it's like, you know, I, I'm thinking of this person and yeah, I want to communicate with them, but is this really going anywhere? You know what I mean? Like if I speak to this person, um, will there be, you know, a, a change or are we just going to end up at square one? I feel like something makes you feel very stuck when it comes to this connection. Um, maybe you feel like it's just very repetitive or you feel like no matter how hard you have tried to solve things or find a solution for the issues that you guys are facing in the past year, you may feel like somehow you guys end up where you guys always end up, right? Square one, where it's like, whether it's no communication or whether it's, um, you know, a bit of bickering or whether it's arguments, there's some sort of change that you desire, but it's almost like you feel, you know, your folk, if you put all your focus into the connection right now, you're going to be disappointed. So instead you're focusing on like, Again, this could be your finances. This could be you just, um, you know, uh, working on, you know, other relationships in your life, right? Whether it's friendships, whether it's, you know, family members. We have the nine of cups and we have the 10 of cups. Wow. Because you feel like this person makes you very happy. And with the 10 of cups, you may, you know, again, there's a lot of high hopes that you had for this connection here, right? 10 of cups is uh, viewing someone as your end all be all. And with the nine of cups, I will say, yeah, you know, this person does make you very happy, but there is a part of you that is questioning their intent. Um, you know, in terms of like, you may feel like they were only looking out for their self or they were working on this connection for um, as long as it was convenient for them. But when it was not convenient for them, they chose to like step out. There's something here about like selfish intent, or maybe that's just something that you're like questioning or, you know, just like a thought that's crossing your mind here. The temperance card is being clarified by the uh, three of swords and the eight of cups clarifying the empress. Okay. Virgo, the first thing that I see is there's a lot of hurt that you're working through right now, okay? You're, you're doing a good job, okay? Because with the Three of Swords as well as the Eight of Cups, you're starting to realize what you need to detach from, okay? So for some of you, it's this person, it's this relationship. For others of you, maybe it's detaching from a specific outcome. Um, but the Three of Swords lets me know that not only are you hurt, you are still actively healing through, um, you know, the pain that was caused in this relationship here. And I will say, guys, like with the um, Eight of Cups here and then the Eight of Pentacles, it seems like you're walking away from this situation because something is just not working and you truly believe that either this person is not capable of making the necessary changes or you feel like you've given this person you know multiple chances to make these changes or to work things out with you and now you're at the point of like I need to detach I need to walk away um eight of cups also clarifying the empress could quite literally just speak about walking away from a situation because you know better so you're doing better it could speak about um you know, knowing your worth or, or finally seeing that, okay, well, if I'm not the one working towards this connection, then maybe the connection is not going to work. Or maybe you're starting to ask yourself why you are attracted to this person or what makes this person or this connection feel special. And it's somehow boiling down to a role that you play. I hope that doesn't sound confusing, but it's almost like 
you're realizing the power that you hold. You're realizing that maybe this situation wasn't as great as maybe it was in your mind, or maybe you just feel like you were extremely optimistic um, in working things out, but there's some sort of reality um, uh, you know, check or some, just, just reality sinking in here for you. Um, and you're thankful for it because it seems that, you know, you're having a new perspective. You're really wanting to detach or walk away here. Okay. <clears throat> and for others of you with the eight of cups, you know, for example, if this person was the one who initiated the separation or walked away, maybe some of you are like, you know what? I know my worth. I'm not going to chase you or beg you for, um, uh, you know, attention or, or for you to find a solution kind of looking at it as if you if you wanted to you would kind of energy it's almost like you're releasing some sort of control here um and 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 just you know surrendering if you will so in your person's feelings we have the two of swords okay so there's something that they're in denial about there's something that um, so it could be that they're picking and choosing what they want to acknowledge at this time, but it could also be someone who is not seeing something clearly, which, you know, furthermore is affecting their, you know, ability to make a decision. We have the death card. Okay. Scorpio energy, king of cups, the tower. You know what's going on in this person's feelings? And I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. This person may be in denial about something or there may be some sort of clarity that they're lacking. For example, just a gener generic example, but they are determined to keep their feelings to their self or they feel like they need to accept an ending. Now, the second thing I will say here is this may be someone who knows or who is aware of their wrongdoings, or they feel like something is not, you know, uh, sitting well with them, but they'd rather, um, like close out a cycle or remain silent as opposed to like open up and, 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 uh, speak about, you know, the issue at hand or, or, or speak about their, uh, you know, wrongdoings here. It's, it's like a part of them feels like they just need to accept the ending, but they still have emotions for you with the King of Cups. The, the death card as well as the tower card could also let me know that this person feels like I did not see this coming at all, especially with the two of swords as well. They could feel like they did not expect this separation at all whatsoever. They, there may be something that you communicated to this person or it may be just you walking away or emotionally detaching could be kind of like a shock or a surprise for this individual. We have the page of wands in the potential outcome and we have the magician. This is more so someone manifesting communication. So whether it's like an opportunity to speak to you or hoping that they bump into you, uh, whether you guys work together or maybe you guys live in the same neighborhood, but this is someone who is manifesting, you know, communication from you. But with the page of wands, it's like, this is more so like, okay, can I just, you know, um, have one more opportunity to test the waters with Virgo or, or, you know, see what they're up to, see if we're on the same page here. It doesn't really seem to be like someone who is coming in with straightforward communication or being very direct about what they want moving forward. Instead, I think it's someone who really wants to hear from you. It's someone who's having a hard time accepting that things may be over for good. Yeah, page of wands being clarified by the knight of cups. This could also be a form of an, like uh, an apology, like someone who is feeling very sorry about something that they've said or something that they've done. Um, and we have the emperor, okay? Knight of wands, yeah. I see this person, like I said, in the potential outcome manifesting, you know, some sort of communication here. But something else I will say, guys, is like, they're coming in with a different demeanor but their behavior behind that seems to still be fickle because we have the Knight of Cups as well as the Knight of Wands, which is, you know, kind of like a wishy-washy energy. It's just not consistent. Like even with the Knight of Cups, it is someone who's open with their emotions, but it's not consistent. So it depends on what you're looking for. But on the outside there, they may come off as someone who has it together. So I will say if this person communicates with you, their demeanor is going to be very different, but maybe you're going to speak to this person or watch what they do to better understand if they have actually made the changes. Um, and with the emperor, this could also be someone who comes in very like composed or they're a bit hard to read, um, but there's something that feels inconsistent even in the uh, future outcome here. Okay, guys, so let's see what this person wants to communicate to you. I feel you leaving me behind. So that could definitely be the um, Eight of Cups energy there, guys, where this person genuinely feels like you're detaching for good or you're, you know, kind of like at the point of no return. I 
I wonder if you are happy without me. I, I definitely feel like they wonder. And, and again, there's a, there's an energy of them still having emotions for you, but they are, um, they don't, they're having a hard time showing you that. Or it's someone who's like, okay, even if I'm upset about Virgo, there's something about them feeling like determined to stick to, you know, their stop, their silence here, whether it's because of ego pride or, you know, because even with the emperor, it's someone who's not really having an, e you know, an, um, an easy time showing you their vulnerable side. I wish I had treated you better. And I did mention this with the Empress um, and in the beginning of your spread where it's like this person now sees your worth, your value, and they feel like you're everything they could have asked for and more. But it's like the the, the issue with that is that they're realizing that they're... Okay, can I speak today? <laughs> they're realizing that now and they did not realize this then. And, and by then, I mean when they were involved with you or in a connection. So it seems like it's a little too late here. Um, it says, I left when I saw you with someone. Okay, guys, so this person could feel like you're interacting with someone new, uh, you know, with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Maybe some of you feel like you have found a wish fulfillment elsewhere. Um, if that message doesn't resonate, just, you know, that's okay. It doesn't have to be your message. Let's see. We need to let each other go. And that's that death card and the tower card energy. Like they, they're they trying so hard to accept an ending, but there's something that they still feel uneasy about. But it's almost like, okay, well, I just need to accept it and let it go instead of saying, well, I'm going to, you know, find a solution. Bottom of the deck, it says, I want to feel that way again. It seems to be difficult, you know, accepting this ending for your person, but it also seems like they they may feel like they're going to make the situation worse if they come back around, or maybe they feel like opening a conversation with you is not going to go the way that they want it to go. Um, so let's go ahead and see what needs to be surrendered in this connection, okay, guys? Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And guys, I did mention here, like for some of you, you could just be surrendering or like you could just be um, wanting to detach from the situation. Maybe you, you feel like you had a particular outcome in mind or you're tired of expecting things from this person because you feel like you're constantly disappointed or let down. Because again, the way that you're viewing them is someone that has disappointed you and you're viewing the situation as a disappointment like as a whole like entirely so for some of you you know this could be a message to you it could be for your person but it is about you know um surrendering to maybe a specific outcome or some sort of result that you want um and going with the floor going with the floor uh, going with the flow here or you know detaching and guys i'm having a lot of communication issues in your reading here so i feel like this is someone who you know again and, and in their feelings it's like trying to accept an ending but they still have something is making them feel uneasy so i feel that this person may feel a bit jittery at this time virgo or like there's something that they really want to get off their chest but they are also being very held back about it okay so my wonderful Virgos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.